What is going on everybody on YouTube? Max Rock here with a brand new video and this is going to be the overdue first impressions of the Motorola G6 Play on Boost Mobile. Let's just do a quick overview of the specs. Uh, the phone itself has a 13 megapixel camera in the back with LED flash. It also has a fingerprint scanner which is pretty detailed there. Motorola put their little uh, logo uh, in the fingerprint scanner there. On the top of the phone you do get a headphone jack, you get a noise sensing mic. Um, on the left side of the device, you get your SIM tray slot for your micro SD card and your SIM card. And on the right side of the device, you get your power button, your volume, and down keys. Now, when you look on the bottom here, you see that you get a uh, micro USB charging port, and you also get an additional microphone. The camera on the front, by the way, it's a 5 megapixel sensor with an LED flash in the front as well. As far as internal specs here, you do have a 1.4 gigahertz. Uh, quad core processor, it's the uh, Snapdragon 427, it's called that 1.4 gigahertz. Uh, the screen itself is 720 by 1440 pixels, so it is an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. It's, uh, it's 5.72 inches to be exact. You get 281 pixels per inch, you get 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, um, and you also have Android 8.0. Uh, the performance of the device is stellar. Um, in my opinion, um, it's pretty good. I would say it's on par with the Motorola E4. You can see one of the main things about this device here is that it was pretty inexpensive when I picked it up. Like I said, it's on Boost Mobile, and I got it for the price of $79.99, 80 bucks at Walmart there. So if you get a chance to pick one up, I'll say go ahead and do so. Don't get it thinking it's an upgrade, because it's not really an upgrade. It's just more of an aesthetics uh, thing here. Uh, Why I'm mostly filming the phone. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's great to hold in the hand, very comfortable. Um, the battery itself is 4,000 milliamp hours. Um, I've been getting some pretty good screen on time or some pretty good battery life just in general. So let me go ahead and show you guys some screenshots. So this one here, I got four hours, seven minutes, and I had 71% battery life. Uh, this one here I had four hours, 38 minutes, and I had 35% battery life. I haven't connected the device to the network just yet, and that's just for reasons, you know, I don't have Boost Mobile any longer. Video coming on that pretty soon. I also have one that's five hours, 12 minutes with 28% battery, and then I have one that's six hours, 19 minutes with 11% battery. So overall, battery performance is really good. Uh, you will be able to get through the entire day with this device here, and it also has turbo charging, which uh, I already have a Motorola G5 Plus, and that came with the turbo charging brick. So yeah, turbo charging is a plus in this device as well. And I can see myself using this as a JB driver if the time does come. Geekbench scores here. You can see they got a 658 on the single core and an 1845 on the multi-core score. So that's pretty much expected for a processor like the 427. These are around the numbers that it really, you know, usually gets when it comes to it being in other devices like a Motorola E4 has the same exact processor. It uh, gets the same amount or the same scores on Geekbench along with my cool pad canvas and uh, the Motorola E4 Plus as far as the single core. Overall, software layout for the device is pretty good as well. Favorite thing, like I said, is the absolutely beautiful screen here. Although it's on a 720p, it still is gorgeous here. Um, it's just having an 18 by nine aspect ratio, you don't realize how nice it is or how pleasant it may be until you actually get it in hand. Now, it's just me talking. You may not really care about that per se, but in my opinion, it's one of the highlights of the device. But uh, like I was saying there with the software layout, uh, this is the Motorola skin here on top of uh, Android Oreo. It isn't really too much going on with the software as far as, you know, little hints like features and everything. But it does come with a couple key features that usually come in Motorola devices here, which is kind of surprising because this is one of the cheaper devices. It has the top action for the flashlight. So if you go like this here, you can activate the, uh, the flashlight or the LED flash in the back. And if you, you shake it again and it cuts it off. And then if you twist the phone twice, you activate the camera. Uh, the cameras are pretty good on the device. It takes pretty decent photos. So you can see here, it's not really a bad photo. Um, this is pretty good detail as well. I got pretty close on that uh, plant or that bush there. This is another one that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good with photos. As far as the speaker and like the audio playback on the device, it's my Moto G6 Play unboxing. Got like a little shine, right? It's not bad, right? It's like a blue. Yeah, it's not bad. And plus, it's front firing, so that's always a plus. And you know, of course, with your YouTube, uh, when you get the 18 by 9 accuracy ratio, you got to resume the fill. So it fills the screen here. So, yeah, overall, the phone itself is definitely worth the money. It's to the point where I'm really enjoying it, and I'm really pushing towards getting the Motorola G6. 
or the GX6 Plus when I get a chance. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade and I may end up keeping the Motorola G5 Plus but then again I may not. As far as the facial unlock, that's something that I haven't tried just yet and the only reason I haven't tried is because security reasons. I don't want um, anyone to just have a picture of me and be able to unlock my phone. The fingerprint scanner actually is pretty good in this phone as well. It unlocks the phone pretty quickly. As far as uh, how the buttons feel when you press them, it got a really nice good clicky feel to them. But with the cool thing with this phone here, what you got the box is you actually get a case, which is something that I haven't seen Motorola do before. But I think what they did was they wanted to give you a case because the device itself is pretty fragile. If you drop this thing on the back, it's probably gonna crack, it's probably gonna break. It's not gonna look the same. So overall, I like the phone. This is probably one of my favorite purchases this year so far. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see some content in the future. And if you do decide to subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so that anytime a video comes to the channel, you will be the first person to see it or one of the first people to see it. But until then, I want to say thank you for watching the video. This is Max Rock and you have a good day. Deuces.